Hi, I'm Larry Puckett, the DCC Guy. And as you know by now, I recently returned from a visit to the UK where I attended the Worley National Model Railway Exhibition. And it was a very interesting visit and a chance to see just how they do train shows in the UK. So uh, if you haven't seen the videos yet, there are a couple that I've done on that and I'll put links to them above me right here. So you can take a look at those if you wish. In addition to attending the show, I remained in the UK the following week and visited a lot of hobby shops, the National Railway Museum, and the DCC Concepts showroom in Suttle, also in North Yorkshire. And I want to thank Richard Brighton of DCC Concepts for chauffeuring me around uh, North Yorkshire and, and taking me to all of these various hobby shops and, and the museum and the like. I really do appreciate that. It was a great adventure. And one of the things that I brought back with me from that trip were a couple of boxes of DCC Concepts products to share with you here in some of my videos. So today we're going to be taking a look at some of their decoders and their stay alives. Now, in addition to showing you these, I'm going to be giving away a number of these over the next few weeks until I run out. And in each video, I'm going to give one away to a lucky viewer. And in just a minute, I'll tell you how I'm going to go about doing that and how you can qualify to win a DCC Concepts decoder and stay alive. So keep watching the video. Before we go on, I want to ask you to take a moment to subscribe to the channel. It's simple, easy, and free. All you have to do is hit that little red uh, subscribe button, and when the little bell comes up, click on it and click all. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about how I'm going to go about giving away the decoder and the stay alive. For those of you who might remember the old Groucho Marx show, You Bet Your Life, at the beginning of the show, they would show the audience a magic word. And if during the rest of the show, one of the contestants happened to repeat that magic word, then they would qualify for an extra prize. I think it was extra prize money. What I'm going to do is something somewhat similar. I'm going to share with you a catchphrase in just a minute. And then I will repeat that catchphrase later on in the video. When I say that, all you have to do is write down the time that I said that, and I mean the on-screen time, the time stamp, basically, at which I repeat the catchphrase, and also the catchphrase itself. And then enter that in the comments and start your own comment for this. You will have up to five days after the video premieres and only enter once, and I will check. And then after the five-day period ends, I will go ahead go through all the comments, and I will pick at random, using a random number generator, one of the responses. And I will send that individual the decoder and the stay alive. In addition, the following week, in the following week's video, I will share with you who it was that won here on the channel, so that you can check up on me and make sure that this wasn't rigged or anything. So. Here is the catchphrase, or the magic phrase, my dog Chewy, and that's my dog's name. So again, my dog Chewy, and at some point in the video, I'm going to repeat that. And all you have to do to qualify to enter for the decoder and the stay alive is make a note of the time later in the video when I actually say that, and then put that in the comments. Okay, so that's it. Let's go ahead move on, take a look down here at the workbench for all of the decoders and stay alives that I have to show you. Now I have a pretty good selection of the various decoders and stay alives that are offered by DCC Concepts. So let's take an overview look at what they offer in their decoders, and then we'll look at some specifics. Now they offer two versions of their Zen decoders the Zen Blue Plus, which has this blue wrapper, and the black, which is this one here with a black background here. And there are basic differences amongst them, but let's take a look at an overview of the specs. 
This, um, this chart here should give you a pretty good overview of the different capacities, the specifications uh, for these various decoders. And these are for the various Zen Blue and Zen Black decoders. So you can see here for each one we have the peak amperage capability, the continuous operating amperage for each one of these. And you can see basically just about all of them are 750 milliamps capability, except for the ones that have a very large capability. Now, the 1.1 amps again, that is the peaking current. So when the locomotive is either starting up or under some particular strain that causes a peak demand from the motor. If we then look on over, you can see how many functions and all of the functions are individually rated at about 100 milliamps, except for the very large Buddha, which can put out 250 milliamps per function. Now, the connectors, you can see anything from 6-pin, 8-pin, 21-pin. There's even uh, it's a Next18 version here in the Zen Blue Plus. So there's a lot of different capabilities as far as the connector types. You can see the relative sizes here, both from the actual dimensions in millimeters and the various outlines of the decoders. But you can see that they're typically about what you would expect for a normal uh, HO scale decoder, maybe a little bit smaller, and then the smaller ones that are much closer to an N or a Z scale decoder. So that will give you an overview. You can do a screen capture of this or come back later and stop it and look at it. And uh, again, you can download this uh, decoder manual from the dccconcepts.com website. With CV25, you have this one-step loco setup capability. So by simply setting a value of anywhere from 0 to 9 into CV25, it will give you the these settings shown in the chart here for CVs 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So CV2 is the starting voltage. CVs 3 and 4 are your acceleration and deceleration rates. CV5 is your top speed in the three-step speed curve. CV6 is the midpoint speed in your three-point speed curve. So you can set all of these up given the different values shown in the chart just by setting one value in CV25. And on the left it shows you the default settings and what you would expect for a shunting or switching locomotive, a light freight, heavy freight, express freight, a light engine, uh, a local or a branch passenger locomotive, a stopping passenger locomotive, an express passenger, an electric multiple unit, or a diesel multiple unit locomotive set. So all you have to do, again, set one value in CV25, and it will program all of these other values in their respective CVs. So it gives you a way to really dial in performance quite quickly. You can then go back and tweak the individual CV settings as you desire if they need changing from what uh, the uh, program sets up. So that'll give you a pretty good idea. Again, this is directly from the Zen uh, decoder manual that you can download for free from the DCC Concepts website. And that's dccconcepts.com. And just look up decoders and then go to the various manuals. Now, all of the Zen decoders are rated at 0.75 amps continuous at a minimum and a 1.1 amp peak output. So they're going to be compatible with just about all uh, double O and HO scale locomotives on the market today. They'll work with a lot of N scale and probably S scale and as you'll see in a minute some of the O scale stuff and some of the large scale. They offer something on uh, called brown out protection and what that means is they have extra capacitors built into the decoders that help get them over dirty track and help get them over minimal interruptions in power, such as you have when you have a dirty pickup uh, on or a misaligned pickup on the wheels. So they're not as powerful as a full keep alive or stay alive device that you can pick up and keep the locomotive running for five or six seconds afterward. 
However, they will help prevent the stutters and stops and things like that that you will see when a locomotive does hit a little dirty patch, has a little dirt on the wheels, or like I said, a misaligned or a dirty power pickup. And I'll give you some more information on that in just a minute here. And again, that brownout protection is installed on all of their decoders. In addition, they have several features which are quite nice. They offer a onboard plug for the stay alive to be connected to. So you wouldn't have to do any soldering for that. They also have a feature called Break on DC. Now this is a feature that's common in European decoders. Uh, Loke sound decoders offer it as well as, I know Lens offers, Break on DC. And what that means is if you apply a DC current to one of the rails and the locomotive hits that, it's gonna turn on the brakes and stop. So you could use that, for example, at the end of a staging track to stop a train before it gets to the end of the track. And I'll show you more about that in a later part of this video. But they have a CV, CV27, that controls that feature. They also offer super smooth motor control. And I have tested these and I can tell you that they do have very good motor control uh, on the decoders that I have tried. And that's in all of these decoders. Okay, so that's the basic Zen uh, Blue Plus decoder. And why do they call it a plus? Well, they used to make another decoder that was the Zen Blue that's no longer made. So the Zen Blue Plus was the upscale version of the original Zen. Okay, but what about the black? What does the black offer? Well, in addition to everything that I just told you about the specifications and the features and CVs, they offer a feature called asymmetric braking control. And that's controlled again in CV27. And what that allows you to do is set up a shuttle operation. So you could have a demonstration layout, an exhibition layout, or you could have on your layout a area such as a trolley uh, track where the trolley would come onto the scene, stop at a station, start up, go down, stop again, wait a while, and then proceed on to another location, and so on. It might stop and reverse and come back the other direction. So it allows you to set up a basic shuttle operation, a back and forth with various stops in between with various times, just like you would see with a train that is proceeding from stop to stop at stations on your layout, or you could have, like I said, a trolley track set up or a trolley operation set up where the trolley would actually stop and wait for passengers, start up and proceed, move on to the next stop, and go through the process again. So that is a special feature that is only available on the Zen Black decoders. And that's basically the main difference between them and the Blue Plus decoders. Now, in addition to the Zen decoders, they also offer these from a company called AE Model. And the AE Model, they're made in the same factory in China as the Zen decoders are. They have pretty much the same feature set because they use an earlier version of the Zen software that's used in these decoders. So they're a little bit less expensive. They do not offer some of the features. They do have the brownout protection on board. The main thing they don't have is the break on uh, DC feature built in. Now, as I said earlier, there are versions of the decoders that offer a much higher uh, amperage capability. And those are the Zen Black High Power and the Zen Black Buddha. The Zen Black High Power offers a 3 amp peak power, whereas the Buddha offers a 5 amp peak power. And the Zen Buddha, in addition to its 5 amp peak capacity, also has a built-in stay alive in the decoder. So you wouldn't need to add that to it. One thing to be aware of is that with the stay alives, the Zen decoders use a three wire stay alive. And I'll take one of those out here in a minute and show it to you. However, that three wire stay alive is also compatible with Loke sound and ESU decoders, as well as lens decoders that use the three wire stay alives. Now the AE model units uh, do use a two wire stay alive 
and you can see here possibly the two wires uh, shown through the package. And with those, you can use a standard two wire stay alive as well. And I've got one of these here that I'll show you in a minute. So these use two wires. The Zins use the three wire stay alive. However, I was told that you can use the two wire stay alive with the Zen decoders. But it's just a lot easier to use the three wire versions because they come with the plug already. Now these decoders all come in varieties of formats. So you've got your standard 8 pin plug type decoders. You have the decoders that offer the 21 pin socketing. They have a Neem 18 uh, pin version that I have installed in a locomotive. And all of these various features give you a lot of capabilities when it comes to selecting just the right decoder for your locomotive. Okay, let me start pulling some things out to show it to you. Now, as you can see, this particular decoder here is very, very tiny. They're nano, I believe this one is. Let me see. Yeah, this is called their, Z uh, their Nano. And as you can see, it comes with an 8-pin plug on the end already. And then here is the plug that goes into the Keep Alive or the Stay Alive device. So that's a very nice small one. Let's take a look at this one here. Now this is another very small decoder, but as you can see, it comes with that six pin plug on one end. However, it comes with a wiring harness that allows you to plug it in and convert it to an eight pin decoder. And if you need the extra length, it does have a wiring harness that extends it out a couple of inches that has the six pin connector on the end. So it gives you that capability to plug it in directly or add a wiring harness for it. Okay, this one right here that I'm opening is one of the Zen Blacks that has that ABC shuttle control. And you can see this one comes with your eight pin wiring harness as well as nine pin connector here. So you can then just go ahead and plug in the wiring harness and you're ready to go if you want to. You can hook up a Stay Alive to it. And again, this is one of the Zen Black decoders with that asymmetric braking control. This is another very small Zen Black decoder. So you can see this one comes direct wired with the harness already on it. So that's, the sele that's a look at the selection of the Zen decoders that I got for you. Now this is one of the AE models. Again, they use the same packaging essentially. And this is one of their 21 pin decoders here. So that could just plug right into your board on your locomotive and you can hook up a Stay Alive to it. This is a smaller one with the six pin connector on it. And they also offer the two wire Stay Alives. So you can see this one has one, two, three. This one has four capacitors, so it should have quite a bit of capacity to get you over some very dirty track as well as some dead frogs. Now I mentioned that they offer these wiring harnesses. So now these are the six pin to eight pin uh, conversion wiring harnesses. So those are available separately in addition to coming with some of the decoders. They offer this one here, which is a 8 pin to 21 pin. So if you happen to have a locomotive with a uh, 21 pin uh, provisions in it, you can just plug this into that and then use an 8 pin connector for your decoder. So you don't have to use a 21 pin decoder. You can use an 8 pin socketed decoder. It also has solder pads here for F4, 5, and 6 so that you can add additional uh, function capabilities if your decoder has it. Okay, let's take a look at some of their Stay Alives. And this is just a, a selection that they offer. So it allows you to buy one package deal, and then you can pick and choose and decide which one you like on your model railroad. Now these are the individually packaged ones. You can see this has one capacitor. This one here has two capacitors. This has four capacitors, and this one has six capacitors. So a wide range of 
capabilities. So this little guy right here, with only one capacitor, is going to give you a limited amount of stay alive. This one here, it's one of those where you'll be able to pick up your locomotive, hold it in your hand, and use its headlight as a flashlight. Let's pop one out here and take a look at it. Now one of the unique things about these Zen Stay Alives is that they have the capacitor and the circuit board, that is the controller, uh, separate. So you have to have room for both of these in your installation. And you cannot use these without the controller board. So don't try it. You could end up damaging things. So don't do that. They're made to be used together. And again, the decoder itself comes with the three-wire connector. All that you have to do is then plug in the decoder to the controller board for the Stay Alive device, and then you're ready to install it in your locomotive with the 8-pin connector or whatever version that you have chosen. I think even my dog Chewy could do that. Let me show you this guy right here because it is something I really think you'll be excited about. Now this is what they call their slimline two-wire Stay Alive. So you can get an idea of how small it is. It has the controller board built into it. In addition, it is a two-wire Stay Alive. So this works with any of these decoders that they have. They are compatible with the AE model decoders and any other decoder that you have that has the blue and the black wires or the appropriate connecting wires are for Stay Alive connections or Keep Alive connections. So that means you could use these, for example, with sound trucks. You could use these with TCS decoders. And you'll notice these are very small. And here's the thing. When I last checked the other day, Ryan Matthews at Iron Planet Hobbies had these on sale for $3.23. $3.23 for a Stay Alive. Now, for that, you don't get Stay Alive capacity like with this one here because it has limited number of capacitors on it. It's going to be very similar to the brownout capacity that is provided in the Zen decoders. It's going to get you over dirty spots and situations where your power pickups may not be working great. So it's going to get you over those short spots where you might need a little extra power and not going to be the type of thing that's really going to get you a lot of Stay Alive power. Now, as you can see here, I have installed one of these Slimline Stay Alives in this locomotive, and it's been running fine without any problems at all. And, you know, this is one of those cranky steam locomotives with some dicey power pickups, to be honest with you. And it so far has run great with one of these small Stay Alive devices. And again, you can experiment with these. Like I said, Iron Planet Hobbies has these for $3.23. Where are you going to get any kind of Stay Alive for that? Well, that's a wrap for today's video. I hope I've given you a pretty good overview of the capacities and abilities of these Zen decoders, as well as the AE model versions that DCC Concepts is now selling. So, if you're interested in the shuttle capability, I will be doing a follow-up video as soon as I figure out how to install the shuttle operation somewhere on the layout so I can show you how that works and also give you an overview of how to program these. So it's probably going to take a week or two or three in order for me to get a chance to do all of this. I'm going to have to install these in a couple of locomotives and then figure out how to program them for the automatic braking, stopping, waiting, and proceeding type of operation you get with a shuttle type service. But I'm anxious to give that a try, so it's coming down the road. In the meantime, have a great weekend, have a great week, and we'll see you here next week with another video from the DCC Guy. Bye now.